hello beautiful people how are you guys welcome back to my channel thank you for your support and your love how are you guys happy weekend happy saturday because today is saturday yeah mm -hmm. so and happy new month to you all this month shall be a good month for us in jesus mighty name amen so um today is saturday and i just finished my saturday shopping and um, i would like to show you guys what i do I, most of you that you know i am a mother of three and i also work i do part-time job as well so and i know it's not easy really to be to be a mom of three to be working you know try to balance it make sure your family are okay they are not lacking anything because you are working we don't want that because outside there is not it's not really friendly so you have to make sure that home is friendly so that your family won't go out there to look for friendly friendly and they won't get themselves involved in something else so you have to keep your home as a woman right guys yeah so uh i just finished shopping and uh, normally what i normally do when i'm working like that i mean when i bought things so what i'm going to do i'm going to blend my tomato because i'm feeling like i should make jollof rice for the children it's a long time they've had jollof rice so what i'm going to do i'm not going to make the jollof rice today not in this video what I'm going to do, I'm going to blend the tomatoes, the pepper, the onions. Oh, that reminds me. Do I have onions? Okay. <clears throat> I have, yeah, I have some onions. And um, I'm going to boil it. When it's thick, I'm going to put it in a container and keep it in my fridge. So when I want to use it to make jello fry, it will be easier for me. And what else? I'm going to boil meat. And I'm also going to make a soup. I'm thinking of making bitter leaf soup with a goosey soup yeah a, a goosey soup with bitter leaf i was thinking of buying okra i'm like we just finished having a widow draw soup so and i know my husband enjoy a goosey soup a lot with bitter leaf you know so i'm like okay let me make that today and i also went shopping earlier and what i bought i'll be showing you guys okay so let's start love you guys and before i go sorry guys thank you so much for your support and your love to my other channel those of you that you haven't um discovered it yeah you have to discover it because it's called discover me so i have a new youtube channel for other things you know things that i want to share that i don't want to share in this video i don't want you guys i don't want to complicate things that's why i have separate channel for that so if you haven't seen it please check it out and give me support there and uh, it's called uh, discover me and i'll also be posting it on my community page and i'm also going to be leaving the link on this channel description below so check it out guys thank you so much i'm using this opportunity to thank my old subscriber thank you so much and i'm thanking my new subscriber i'm thanking those of you that subscribed this morning because i went out before i came back i have 20 subscribers already yeah i'm like woo, 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 woo. yeah we are growing we are doing well so you guys if you are on my channel first time and you are struggling to lose belly fast you are trying to lose weight for the summer the other channel is for you so make sure you check it out okay guys okay now let's go so guys before i went out i wanted to bring out fish this is the one of the fish i bought last week that i season and keep in the freezer i went to got it out today from the freezer because i need it not for today i need it for tomorrow so i want it to defrost so when i wanted to bring it out i discovered that i have um cow foot here with um goat tribe and i think i don't know what else is there i think i have it with beef can you guys see and the tribe um cow cow shaki because i said it's one of my videos that i don't want to be i want to avoid red meat and all this shaki you know but if you guys can see it's frozen so i have it and um, so i brought it out i'm gonna be cooking with it and once i cook with it i'm not gonna buy any and i also discovered i have this fish this tilapia can you guys see i have the head and the the e -e tail or whatever so uh, now let me start. and now let me start showing you guys what i bought today because as i said i don't want to be buying red meat i'm doing well because last week i did not buy any red meat all i bought was fish and you know so uh this week all i bought i bought chicken can you guys see i bought chicken can you guys see I bought chicken that is a boiler i'll be using it for my um a goosey with bitter leaf soup and i also buy i also bought turkey and they've got it for me nice this is this look a bit too big they would have got it another like the bar 
this is turkey can you guys see so that's that and i also buy cow foot because <laughs> my husband cannot do without cow foot my people my husband love cow foot so much so i bought cow foot can you guys see and they've got it for me nicely so no matter what i do i scrape the the skin and i boil it and i like when they cut it big because sometimes i don't really use the bone i just cut the skin when they cut it very small you can't you hardly get the meat from it you just all you see is bone so i normally tell them to cut it medium so that i'll be able to get the skin properly from the bone so that is my meat i bought i'm gonna wash that and boil them um, in few minutes but i'm still showing you guys what i bought now i need to wash my hands because i've touched raw meat <clears throat> I bought a uh, green plantain I bought three green plantain uh, this is for my lunch later I'll be making the recipe in my other video and um, so you guys check it out please in my other channel not the video right and I bought um, I bought three of tomato plum I only need three because I have some at home I have some at home that's only about three and what else did I buy I bought um, sweet red long pepper can you guys see I bought that and I bought moin moin leaf I saw it and it was so fresh normally I don't have plan of making moin moin but when I saw it, it looked so fresh. I'm like, okay, because of the leaf, I must make my money, you know. It's, oh my God. I don't even know how to sing. And then, da 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 da, -da. I also buy a wedu because you hardly see a wedu, fresh a wedu at this time, you know. So when I saw it, I was so happy. So I bought two. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be taking it and I'm going to blend it. I'm going to cook it and store it in my freezer for any time we are ready or we feel like oh that day i feel like okay is the way do we want to eat you know so that's why i bought that it's not like i want to we want to eat it today you know because i saw it and most of you have been asking me where did i get my way do for my other recipe um normally me i get it from my african caribbean store here you know so if you live in a con any country that they have african caribbean store you can ask them if they will have a way do or sometimes they they might not have the fresh one they normally have the frozen one so you can also go for the frozen one but you know if you are desperate determined to have a widow and they don't have fresh one i will advise you to go for the frozen one you know but because i can find the fresh one you know sometimes not all the time so that's why i got it but the, la the last one i made the other time we really really enjoyed it and i bought um pounded yam the flour i bought one that is for my husband my husband loves pounded yam so much and i also buy ginger uh, i don't know i think this ginger is from all the way from africa it does it have this lovely smell that i like so much compared to the one we buy here so i bought it so that is that i bought one aromat let me put that here and I bought a scotch bonnet this is scotch bonnet this is very very spicy and I use it to blend with my tomatoes you know anything I want to use I need spice I blend it with and I also buy one sweet potatoes I'll be having that later I might not make the recipe in this video but in my in my other channel yes so you guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel you haven't know, find out about the channel please check it out and support me there or if you're somebody that uh, you really you are interested in losing the weight i advise you to go there and check out the channel it's for those of you that want to lose weight for the summer 
if I don't want you guys to see me tomorrow in one of my videos and say, hey, Janet, what is your secret? So I'm sharing my secret with you guys in my other video or in my other channel. Yeah, don't know why I keep saying video. So I also bought yam. Can you guys see? This is very good yam. Because normally before I buy yam, guys, what I normally do, I use my hand to do like this. And guys, can you see? Can you see how white it is? So that's how I know that it's good. But if it looks like this, somehow I don't. That's why most of the time when I'm cutting my yam, you guys always say that my yam is good. So that's one secret I show with you guys. Because some of you leave me a message with the, you know, how to make pound with fresh yam. Some of you left me comment that you try it and the whole thing go brown like Amala. So maybe it's the yam, 100%. You guys, you see when I was cutting that yam, you see how white that yam is, how good that yam is. So that is it. And I wanted to make it for my husband. I've not really made it for him since he, come, he came back. Because I made that recipe when he was back in Nigeria, you know. But I, I'm still taking my time. I don't want the situation that I'll make it for him that he will not like it, you know. Because I don't like when I make food and my husband does not eat it. Or he'll do as if mm, I don't like it. That always, like deep inside so i rather make food that i know that i enjoy maybe one day when i want to eat it i don't think i'll be eating it really but i will still try to see if i can make it for him one of the day i'll make sure if the children want to eat pounded yam i'll make it so if he, he doesn't eat it the children will eat it so i'm just taking my time so anyway this yam i'm just gonna boil it and i'm gonna fry egg or i'll make separate sauce that my husband can have it with you know for tomorrow breakfast or whatever i don't know okay so now i'm going to can you guys see me i'm going to start blending the tomatoes i never use this let me use it today i'm going to blend the tomato what should i do first okay what i'm going to do first i'm going to wash the meat and put it on the cooker and then i'll now blend the tomato and boil as well so that's what i'm doing so let's start so guys i just want to show you guys everything i'm going to blend i'm going to blend my ginger uh garlic a uh, scotch bonnet uh, onions bell pepper fresh tomato sweet red long pepper and tomato plum so i'm going to blend all that So guys that is my tomato i finished blending that i'm gonna cover that to boil um this is my meat and i'm using the frozen one the one i have in the freezer before and i just wash a little bit of i think about you say about two or three about two cow food to, from the new one i bought today and some of the turkey and some of the chicken as well so i'm also boiling that so that's cooking and this is the remaining of the chicken and the turkey and the cow foot. This cow foot, I'm going to wash it and keep it in my freezer for another purpose use. This one, I'm going to wash and boil it separate so that I will fry it tomorrow and make it with tomato sauce for the jello fries I'm making. I'm make, also making jello fries tomorrow, you know, guys. Yeah, and this is the moimoi leaf. I'm going to now soak the beans for the moimoi for tomorrow so this is my beans can you guys see peeled beans and this is the brand i normally use so i'm just going to pour that i'm going to soak it i'm going to use that for my moment tomorrow can you guys see i'm going to leave that aside so guys i'm going to start with my widow so this is how we normally take a widow out can you guys see like that one by one so i have my container here i'm going to pour it inside i'm going to continue doing that till everything is finished it takes a lot of work you know if you are somebody that you're not used to doing it you think it's a lot of work and it's too much to do but before you know trust me and um, what you think about it when you are eating it with amala? <laughs> that will make it process the process fast when you're doing it. You won't be thinking, oh, how long am I going to be picking this one by one, you know? 
you just remember when you finish preparing it and you're having it with amala or any swallow of your choice you know just be remembering all that and before you know you finish trust me guys so that is that you guys see that's that so i'm gonna finish all that so guys i finished picking the ewedu now and this is it and what i'm going to do now i'm going to rinse it and keep it in the freezer i'm not going to make it i'm going to just rinse it and allow the water to drain and i'll put it in a nylon bag or you know and put it in the freezer i think it's better that way i've done it before anyway and when i wanted to cook it it still stayed very fresh So guys, I'm going to blend my pepper. This is just the sweet red long pepper, um, onions and scotch bonnet. I'm going to blend it. I'm going to cook my uh, goosey with uh, bitter leaf. So guys, this is my meat. It's finished boiling and I've taken out the stock. This is the stock I kept here. Can you guys see? I'll be using that later. And this is the tomato I boil. Can you guys see? So guys, I have stock fish here and uh, other fish as well. I think it's called sour. I don't know what it's called in English. So I'm going to add it. And I'm also going to add the stock. I'm going to mix all that together. I'm going to allow this to cook for about... 15 to 20 minutes so now guys i'm going to add bitter leaf this is bitter leaf and this is frozen bitter leaf and i'm going to also add my iru and you guys see it's frozen it's from the freezer i'm going to add it going to mix and at the same time I'm going to add the egusi I'm going to close it and I'll be back I'm going to add a little bit of water much I'm going to add my meat so guys I'm going to add crayfish this is a um, blended crayfish so I'm going to mix smells so good guys so now as you guys know i've not had maggi or salt all i had was the stock and the meat and the crayfish and the stock fish and the pepper and everything but i've not had any seasoning so i'm gonna taste it now is i think it's lacking of maggi i'm gonna use chicken cube I'm going to just rub down I'm going to add aromat set So 
so i'm going to allow this to cook for 15 minutes and then it will be ready you guys don't mind my cooker it's dirty <laughs> let me taste it now mm, fantastic delicious mm. okay So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm just going to end the video here. It's been, it's been so busy for me, like a bit exhausted. <laughs> Who sent me message? Oh, because my other uh, channel, my other YouTube channel, I I made I publish about three videos today. Yeah, three video, and I was also doing this video, and it was just too much for me but thank god i'm done now so uh thank you guys for watching thank you so much for your support so as you guys can see my moe moe leaf there and as you guys can see that's my beans that is soaked and i've put the away in the freezer i put it inside a nylon uh carrier bag is it nylon you call it so this kind of nylon sandwich bag here yeah, and i put it in the freezer and as you guys can see that's my pepper that i boil i'm going to put that in the container put in the fridge and i'm going to use it tomorrow for jello fries or whenever and that is my goosey soup um my husband is back i've made him pounded yam he's eating it he's just relaxing watching nigerian news about the election blah 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 blah, blah. yeah <laughs> and this is my chicken if you guys remember i said i did not use the whole chicken i did this chicken here and um some of the turkey so i'm gonna wash this tonight and i'm going to keep it in the fridge i'm gonna be doing a separate recipe for that so that's what i'm gonna do and yeah that is it and thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys if you are new to my channel you like what you see you like to see more please subscribe to see more and uh, those of you that you are new and those of you that you haven't checked out my other channel please check out the channel it might be something that you really want to do i'm doing a weight loss challenge and you know i'm enjoying it i'm loving it i'm so happy about it so those of you that you are from this channel and you went there to subscribe and you are supporting me there as well thank you so much i really appreciate it and you haven't support me there come and go there and check it out if you like what you see you subscribe you know if you think that channel is not for you this one is the main channel this is the one you want then just stay here and you never know just try it if you think it's something that you might want to do you can just you know check stay there as well and stay here but if you think it's not something you want it's just this one you want just stay here okay it's optional you know what i mean guys so thank you thank you to you all of you thank you to my new subscriber thank you so much i really appreciate you guys like <sighs> I don't know how to thank you guys no matter how i thank you guys i don't know even if i don't thank you guys it's deep thank you so much have a nice weekend with you and your family and i'll see you guys love you guys bye